I think it's time that I speak about goal put equality in this game. You might notice how a lot of the enemies post one wasteland have level 100 variants. Well, guess what? Gulpers cap out at only level 60. I demand equality for Gulpers. Gulper gang, rise up! G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is an Executioner's Combat Shotgun with plus 10% damage whilst aiming and plus 1 agility. So, here's what's going to happen with this shotgun. We're going to go no shush shoot, we're going to be running up and shooting stuff in the face. But I have faith that I won't die because, obviously, apart from being an incredibly skilled and good player at Fallout 76, I've got a couple of perks that'll help me out, like Enforcer and Ricochet and everything, so we'll be right. Doing 113 damage right now that is unspecced. Keep in mind that Execution is at this point is still multiplicative, which gives it a massive damage bonus over anything else. The caveat to that is you got to have your target under 40% health. So let's apply some of these perks and just see how we go. And uh, we're going to be at full health for uh, at least for now. And if we get shot, we're just going to have to take the damage and whatever. That's fine. Um, but... Uh, you know, if we even get some more Adrenal Reaction damage or maybe Nerd Rage damage, I'd like to see how far we can push this thing. Got Evasive, we've got Ricochet for defensive perks, Tenderizer is there, got Adamantium Skeleton to prevent any staggers from broken limb, Skeet Shooter to keep the uh, spread pellets nice, and the pallet spread, sorry, nice and tight. And obviously that goes well with Enforcer because if you cripple something, it gives you an instant stagger. So if there's a charging Deathclaw or a dog, a dog's a lot more, a lot more dangerous these days, well... I shoot it once, chances are I'll get a uh, stagger or a cripple on it, and, uh, well, this thing is a showstopper. They ain't gonna get to me when I'm shooting them with this, because I believe this thing fires seven pellets a shot. It was like that in, uh, in Fallout 4, and it was eight with the uh, advanced receivers, which you don't, we don't have access to. We've got prime receivers, I guess that's the closest, but hardened receivers are the best what we can do with uh, non-prime damage. Also, we're going with the standard paint here, because I'm tired of the free states paint being on all my combat shotguns. I wish they would have given us the Jack-O-Lantern variant for the combat shotgun. They gave us that for the combat rifle. I reckon the textures would be fairly interchangeable here. Maybe the receiver is a little bit different, but still. Anyways, 180 damage. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are at the smash repairs place because I got to fix my car because someone... Someone uh, reversed into my Commodore, and um, look, I'm really pissed off at the moment. It might not sound like it, but it's only going to take one single small thing in this game to set me over the edge. So hopefully Fallout 76 behaves. Let's just uh, forget about that and just get started. Now, not like my regular shotgun approaches where I'm using a suppressor all the time, you'll find that I've got a little bit more range, so I can, you know utilize it at a range that is further than melee distance, which is good fun. Nice. You'll also notice how um, tight the spread is with the pallets. Um, that is because I equipped this with a true barrel and an aligned stock, which helps me control the recoil. At least the stock does, but, you know, I went for a very sort of uh, mid-range kind of reaching out sort of approach here. You'll notice there that second shot hit for seven when the first one hit for three. That might have been thanks to Tenderizer, but maybe a little bit of weapon range as well. See, I'm hitting them for basically dick all back here. But as soon as Tenderizer comes in, that multiplicative bonus, that's good. And for getting headshots, we're hitting for 57 per pellet, which I think is pretty good. As we get a little bit closer, that second shot doing 61 which is a shit ton, and if we happen to catch them under 40% health, well, they're dead. Yes, we are the judge. I am the judge. Miranda Tinkerbell is a jury, and we've got the executioner here, yes. Hopefully that wasn't cringe. So I, you know, we're working in a place that's like 45 or so minutes away from HQ, the shed, and uh, the crew leader's like, hey, you want to leave your car somewhere, so you have to drive all the way back, because i got to drive like... 25 to 30 minutes every morning to get to work. I mean, it's good because I'm driving my car that long, but you know, you're going to take any chance where you can save a little bit of fuel. So I parked it in this park um, uh, next uh, over the road from a service station. I thought, yep, didn't think much of it. I'll just leave this here. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen. But uh, no, stolen was the least of my worries. Someone actually backed into me, which I'm furious about. And I might actually go full berserker rage on this. And that is why I chose to have um, Adamantium Skeleton. How are my limbs going, by the way? The arms will... You know, it's seen better days, but she'll be right. We'll pop this stim pack in and we'll be fine. 
Perhaps the perpetrator was lucky that I wasn't there to witness it because, you know, I'd be in jail right now. Maybe in a, a loony bin for, you know, flipping my shit and turning someone's skull into paste. It can happen. I'd do it. I would. My car is my baby. Like a white girl thinks of a cat. If anything happens to that cat, she's gonna, she's gonna raise hell to, you know, see, uh, uh, punished for it. But luckily, um, you know, under insurance, uh, I got, the insurance company's got my back, so we'll be right. Won't have to pay an excess because it's not my fault. Uh, worst case scenario, I'm driving around a Corolla for two days. Hopefully my dick doesn't shrivel up in the process of that, so that would be very unfortunate. Now what I could do to boost my damage a little bit more, I'm not actually sure whether Hitman's is still multiplicative, but if it is, it is definitely one of the, uh, Legendary weapon effects to have. That second shot did 32 per pallet. Like, if you aim for the head with these things, the damage output skyrockets in a huge way. Now, we're going to play this a little bit slow because opening ourselves up to lots of lines of uh, attacking is going to get a shot and flanked. And you're, if, you, if you're flanked, you've got that yellow shield icon, bad cover, and they get criticals against you, and that's bad. Now, I'm kind of used to shotguns doing a little bit more than this. Been playing a bit of XCOM 2 lately, trying to, you know, train myself up to get a legend run going. And, you know, things are generally going well, but then I get a crushing defeat, then I lose hope, and then I start again. Because, no, I'm not having my angels go to the grave. And I've been practicing Gatecrasher a lot, because, my goodness, that weapon is RNG incarnate. Mission? Weapon? Something's RNG. Yeah, the rookies have a 65 aim, so if you are, you know, putting on a decent flank without getting the um, accuracy bonus from weapon range, which you have to be fairly close to do, 65. So, you know, you can set up a perfect flank and they'll just whiff it anyway. Most of the rookies, they even handle a gun before, before they join up with XCOM. That's the reason why. Hey, look, I'm talking about XCOM. I was playing Fallout 76. Guess you know what I'm doing next. Uh-uh, none of that, Mr. Doggo. All right, now we are fully in Nerd Rage. We got snuck up on then, but we're not playing in Bloodied. Well, we are now. We weren't before, but, you know, that probably prevented my death. Now, if you weren't too super concerned about reload times, um, you could chuck on Blocker and mitigate the damage on you considerably. So that's something that might be something to uh, consider. It's a weird dog mounting the uh, mixing station there. That's how they mix FEV, right? They m never mind. Let's not go. Let's not follow that train of thought. All right, let's begin against these ghouls. And what I should probably do is, you know, drink a little bit of purified water just to offset my health a little bit. Now, the general rule with uh, video games is uh, zombies plus shotguns equals fun. So we should be doing okay with this. And if we get headshots, it's a free turn. It's not a free turn then because we missed. But maybe we got a hair trigger, right? Sorry. If you've never played XCOM 2, you've got no fucking clue what I'm talking about. And that means you should go play it right now. Even if strategy games aren't your thing. I didn't think they were my thing. Then, um, I, th oh, I think I, I played um, Enemy Unknown. I thought that was really good. Um, then I saw my brother playing uh, XCOM 2 once. Didn't pick it up for another couple of months after that. But then, then they had that. Alright, time to use bats. Aiming sucks, man. Ooh, gotta reload. There we go. So it looks like we're getting 80 damage. That was a critical. So I have been neglecting using bats for basically this entire video. But you know what? The rest of these ghouls, we really need to lay the rain of pain on them. So we'll do that. Because I'm lacking the 80 per shot that we get out of criticals. I like how it stacks all the pellets in one spot so you can... I blame... Um, not me. It's not my fault. It's actually uh, far-flung fireworks fault. Yes. <laughs> Alright, at least we're full health now. If you want to like heal without using stim packs, just die. Shut up, phone. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but I got a message from someone. Probably a group chat. That means it's probably a good meme that I need to see. So, I'll be doing that after I finish up with this clip. Now, I'm thinking there's a Wendigo around here. We haven't actually had much use of the, uh... This is a legendary. Much use of the... Ooh, there's a hunting rifle for the bloodied variety. Yes, not much use of the... Hey, that's a pretty good one, actually. I have be top pick. Um, 
yes, follow through. We haven't had much of that. We might utilize that a little bit later. There you are, Mini Earl. You got staggered there, but not a cripple, so that's fine. We'll recover. How are the limbs going? Bit rooted on that arm. I guess I got hit there. So uh, we'll walk that off, and then we'll go and shoot something else. All right, I've been waiting here for a bit. Just kidding, we're just going straight into it. But my limb's at full capacity now. I do think that it was a good pick having, uh... Ooh, it's a legendary. You're getting a shotgun blast to the face. Thank you. Ooh, it's an unyielding bit. We've got a very bloodied theme of legendary drops thus far. Um, yes, we utilized follow-through here. That's why I got that much damage on this other fella. Why am I hiding? Because I get better damage. It's not that... Oh, that's difficult. All right, that crazy laser gun guy has got me a little bit spooked. We'll just wait for him to pop his head out. Oh, rather wait for them to uh, get the lock on. There we go. That guy obliterated my health very quickly there. Hang on, no, we weren't at full health when I started this. Really not in the mood for that. Ghouls and super mutants, they're big targets. They're easy to hit. But, you know, having the extra effort to hit a human target, nah, not fun. Because, you know, I'm terrible at PvP and I can't target other humans. I'm a pacifist, a human supremacist. Don't like attacking fellow humans. Unless they're... I mean... No, the crackheads, I'll attack them. It's fine. So, 42 damage on that second shot. I feel like I ought to be getting headshots out of this. Uh, let's just make sure he doesn't hit me. And there's the utility value of having a combat shotgun with Enforcer. If he does get up and fall over like that, that just means you've staggered and crippled another limb. And, uh, yeah, you'll have that with Mylar Queens a lot because they do have quite a lot of limbs, but they'll eventually stop if you keep shooting them. Alright, so Mylarks are up next, and these guys can potentially present a challenge, but aim low because they're, they're cheeky little buggered. Because what they'll do is they'll, uh, sort of hunch over and have their face sort of uh, hidden under their shell in a way when they charge at you. So just aim low, you'll be fine. There's another Mylurk over there. We'll just get him vaguely aware of our position so he gets on the way. That hard shell's ran into have a little bit of a... Uh... Oh wait, no, he's in a fist fight with a, with a crackhead. You, my friend, are getting some of this... Uh... Well, it's not the one I wanted to aim at, but... We're getting that bats treatment because we're not messing around with my lurk kings. They are a serious threat. I reckon if we tallied up what kind of enemies are a big threat in this game, like you'd be surprised. Obviously, the health pool in a my lurk king a queen makes them dangerous, but I'd actually rate a my lurk king being slightly more dangerous. Also, when you go to a crippled, she can still shoot her spouts at you. So, if you've got enforcer, worth it just to do that. Now she can't shoot at me, and now I can utilize bats properly. There's her face scribbled. Might just want to get this... No, not the shell. Head, please. <laughs> God damn it. I really don't like when I say that. That's not a Freudian slip, I just wanted to target the head. Okay, let's just go legs. She's deploying her army of children. She's got her own pawns. This is not going well. I'm actually surprised at how ineffective this is. We know, let's build adrenaline from her unborn children, or like five minutes ago children. I mean, you gotta admire the efficiency for a Myla Queen's babies. I can't target them because they're underwater. Well, we're just gonna have to let them nip me. That's just the way it is. There we go. Get that tenderizer bonus. I just got shot at by a Myla. King. So we'll uh, go to land now. Okay, so as soon as we got that tenderizer bonus going, uh, that was a lot better. Ooh, Vats is being a piece of shit right now. You really don't want to push me today, Bethesda. Pushed for damage there, got what we wanted, almost got hit. Really hard time stopping a target in terms of damage. You kind of have to target shit like limbs and stuff to slow them down. You can't really rely on all-out damage with this thing, I don't think. You're getting a grenade. I didn't use a sacrificial grenade on anyone else. Ah, close enough. I'm sure you got plasma burns from it. Or not. See ya.
Okay, final test. We should go all right with this, provided we don't get overrun here. We'll go for torso shots because we're being a little bit too inconsistent. If I wanted to optimize this thing slightly better for that, obviously I could have chucked a reflex sight on this. However, I wanted to, you know, make sure I was using this whilst aiming down sights like this, rather than using that all the time. Better something to consider. When I grab um, reflex sights, I think I mess with my INI files and it gives me more of a zoom in than it should. It's kind of always been that way. Uh, helps in nuclear winter when targets are at a very far range. Except when they're too close. Need good hip fire. Alright, so plenty of dudes, plenty of thirsties up in my grill right now. We'll just uh, utilize that a little bit. Just to clear them out. Not super concerned about the shooty shooty guys, but the punchy, stabby ones, a little bit more concerning. Maybe I should probably get Gun Fu going a little bit. You've been a very patient Squash Beast, I do appreciate that. We'll go for the head here. Swing and a miss. And probably not even got him under that much health yet. Actually, I might go for headshots now. We've got a little bit of extra perception from our nuding at this point. Actually, there's only a couple of shooting bastards left. I'll leave them. If they prevent the spawn of the next squadron coming in, I'm just going to leave them. They have pretty terrible aim themselves, so we might be okay. I'm fairly certain I did hear another Scorch Beast crawl out of the hole. Maybe? I don't know. That one's got the blight on it, so that's not good. There you go, two-shot headshot kill. That's pretty good, especially when we're at a range where we can nail that one. If we happen to have a critical, looks like we can. Alright, there's another one. And we're going schizophrenic. I'm hearing Scorch Beasts that aren't there. Righto. We'll get in nice and close. He does his burp of invisible death. And we get in... And do a good amount of damage once we get that executioner's thing proccing. You're being a piece of shit. There's no reason for us to stop thinking at him though. Tell you what, I, f I feel like my pellets go a lot further out when I'm using a non-suppress. What have I got here? Is that a super mutant? Soon to be a pile of uh, giblets. Yep, thank you, Enforcer. Gonna do something real ballsy here. There you go. We've got some stunts in this. You need a stunt double for that one, Miranda. Alright. Let's fill your face full of buckshot. And we are done. So not record breaking time here. We did it cleanly and efficiently enough. I think I used one or two stim packs there because I did not feel like dying and starting again. With uh, bloodied, probably would have used a little bit more, but would have probably shot him a little bit less. So, it's actually alright. Um, against the really ta uh, tanky shit like Scorch Beast, Swan, even um, the Mylurk Queen, I felt like it was a little bit lackluster. But, you know, that's just kind of how it is. It's how the game's designed to be. So, you know, I'm used to that super high stealth commando time to kill. What everything is born equally in this game. Especially Gulpers. Gulper gang, rise up. Don't let Bethesda get away with this, Gulper gang. Thank you very much for watching, guys.